Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video. So today I'm playing in my craft journal and I'm going to be working on another cr cutout page. Um, if you've seen any of my previous videos you'll know that I've <laughs> been going on and on about how great this journal is for doing cutouts. Um, so today I'm just going to do one that's got like a window in it, a circular window. So I've used my Helix Circle and Angle Maker after finding the centre of the page and just decided on the size of the circle that I wanted to cut out and then I'm using my craft knife with the mat underneath to just cut out that circle and then I'm just doing like a part border in a couple of places and I'm going to save these pieces um, like I did last time and you'll see in another video that's coming up how I use them in another page. So once that was then cut out, I decided that I would then add some little bits of collage. Now with hindsight, it probably would have been better to have put those on first and then dried it really well. But actually, it doesn't matter. It works quite well. I really just wanted to break up the uh, background a little bit, just add a bit more interest in there before I started adding the colour. But as you'll see, as we go along, some of this disappears anyway. But that's one of the things with mixed media art, isn't it? Where you, you build up lots of layers and um, that's one of the things I love about it. So this is some um, collage tissue paper from Dina Wakeley and it's from the set that's got all the text in it. Um, that's not one of the most recent one releases, I don't think. I'm just sticking it in with some gel medium. And then because the page that you can see through is going to be part of it as well, so I'm just adding some onto there too. Now I'm going to be putting an image into the middle of the page where you can see through the window so I am not putting too much tissue paper in that bit you can see I put a bit in and then moved it so I'm going to try and keep that area fairly clear so I'm starting off with a carnation and uh, then adding a bit of magenta and just kind of blending that in as best I can and also trying to leave some of the lovely craft background as well. And then just darkening up one or two areas using a bit of the uh, Dina Wakely magenta. Two, actually I'm fibbing, that's fuchsia. I always get those two mixed up, I don't know why. Um, and then I'm just repeating the same process on the next page. Carnation, magenta, and then fuchsia. Got it right this time. <laughs> Okay, so then once that was dry, I'm then using the same colours on the page that you're going to be able to see through to, see through to, because it's not a see-through page. Talking gibberish today. And then you can see this paper that I've got underneath. I'm just um, using up some of the leftover paint. This will become either a collage paper or paper that I use in a journal. So this is a fabulous stencil by Art by Marlene from her So Fish Decated range. And it's mask number eight. Um, oh, I just love it. I love the pattern. Um, it's one of my favourite stencils at the moment. And I'm just using um, a small amount of white paint on my sponge and um, adding some of this pattern on. And you can see it has a really lovely effect to the colours that are already there. It kind of, I don't know, makes them almost more pastely. Um, so I really like how this is coming together. So I'm adding the paint with one end and then with the drier end of the sponge I'm just lifting a bit off so it's not too uh, dark. Then this is one of Tim Holtz's stencils and I think it's called Bubbles. Yes it is. And I'm just using uh, Dina Wakely Turquoise through that stencil. So I'm doing the same thing on all three pages so that they kind of work together. Then I thought I'd do some doodling so I started off doing that kind of pattern that's on the stencil and then decided that I would just draw onto the pattern from the stencil so didn't like what I'd done to start off with because it was still wet wiped it off with a baby wipe and it was gone brilliant that's one of the great things about acrylic paint once it's dry underneath you can wipe mistakes away while they're still wet um, so then I just decided that's what I would do I would just doodle into the stenciling using this lovely uh, turquoise Posca pen So next I'm going to draw a face and I'm just making it so that it's the right size to peep through that window. 
I'm just quickly sketching it out. I do have a course on my website if you're interested in how I draw my faces. It's not a technical face drawing class, it's just uh, teaching you how I do it. Um, which, as you can see, you know, it's fairly basic. It's a great way to get, to learn how to get faces into your art journaling. Um, so if you head over to my website, artjournallove.com, you can find that class there. So then I'm using my favourite pen that I use for drawing these faces. Um, it's this Jane Davenport uh, License to Quill pen, which is lovely for drawing and it's waterproof. And then you can water the ink down and add your shading and shadows. Um, depending on how much water you add, depends how dark it goes. You can see you can really add a bit of more depth to your drawing by using that. So then once that was dry, I then cut it out and you can see I'm just going to put it peeping through the window there, just using a glue stick to stick that in place. I've also added a couple of little catch lights into the eyes as well, just using a white gel pen. Now I'm just adding some um, uh, botanical elements to the page. This is from the Wonky Bits course by Willa Wonders. You'll have heard me mention this before. Um, if you've not come across that course, go and have a look and find it. Um, it's great. You find that you'll create loads of bits that you can use in your journaling. And then I'm just using the same Posca pen, adding a few more mark making a, a few more marks. Oh dear me, I think I really need to go and have a sleep. My brain's not working today. And then I found this quote on uh, some of the Dina Wakely collage tissue paper and I really liked it. So started to add that into my journal page. It's funny, this page, all I knew that I wanted to do was to add a window and the rest just kind of happened. And sometimes really is just serendipity when these things come together. Um, this quote um, was just perfect and then um, it kind of led me to what I did after I stuck the quote in and I was reading it through. So then on the little cutout edge around here I just did a bit of journaling, not really meant to be read, just putting a few thoughts down. Now, I decided I was going to add a sunshine across the window on this first page. So I've just taken a piece of card and traced the arc of the circle just so that I could get it the right shape. And then just sketched out like half of a sun shape and used some um, lemon and cheddar paint and just sponged it on on both sides. Then I added a little bit of stamping using a stays on ink in pumpkin and a nice uh, text stamp and just finishing off that bit of paint. Then I decided I wasn't really sure how I was going to fix it in and I thought I'm going to sew it. First of all I thought I'd use my sewing machine but then I realised I probably couldn't quite get the book underneath um, the sewing machine carefully without breaking the spine on it so decided I would hand sew it. It was quite tricky because the pages are quite thick as you know I keep saying how great they are for doing cut out pages and that they're not flimsy. So um, this was quite tricky but it did work really well and I love the fact that there's a little bit of stitching on the page too. So once I've done like a running stitch I then went through and just looped through the stitches so that it was it became like a continuous mark rather than um, individual stitches as you can see there. And there we go. The only thing I wish I'd done extra was to have added a little rainbow on this page to have fit with the quote. But really, that is the finished page. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.